the end of the of the pilgrim road. Some of here. The Silent Pole. I know it's raining. It's very important for me to show it to you. That wall used to be a kind of a dam um, that was built originally by the time or the time of uh, King Hezekiah and then the Hashmonite and then um, King Herod. If you saw my previous video about it like a month ago, you could see that it's a huge difference now. Um, Silom Pole was the end of the um, spring of, king, of, of the city of King David, which is the only spring, only spring in Jerusalem. And anyway, the end of it was supposed to be the end of it, and that was the wall. And they built here the pole that used so many things. Um, at the time uh, of the temple, they used to take the water here and uh, to purify the, the temple. Wow, it's really rainy. Um, um, people uh, pure themselves after someone died. Um, and in 2004, Rather, it was a sewage uh, column of the, that of, of all the city around. It been blown up. They started to renovate it, and then they reached that area, found some stones. Ronnie Reich, uh, the excavator. Um, exhibit here, and she, they found the silum pool from the second time. Um, until then, to reach the silum pool, oh, you have to climb up those stairs, and it's rainy, then I'm not going to do that now. And the pool that you see here is from the second temple time. Yeah, the Byzantine down. Let me just run into the. The Byzantine pool is up there. They started to excavate here, and uh, and the size is the the Byzantine. It was nineteen on um, nineteen meters, double it into three, then you will see it, you will hear it in fit, um, that will be in fit. 70 by 70 meter, this is the, the pool from the time of King Herod. And if you've been with me, you saw that the only place that you could see is that. And now we are excavating every part of it every part of it. You can see there are three stairs in each, each floor. Then that's why they believe that it was a mikveh. I mean, if so many Jews came to Jerusalem in three times a year, Passover, um, Shavuot and Sukkot, then you have to build a huge mikveh to purify their body. No Jews are purify their body. In that case, three stairs and then flat, another three stairs, uh, mainly because it all depends on uh, the water uh, that enters uh, from the spring into it. If it will be, uh, let's say, summertime, it is very low. In wintertime, it, as I believe, was, was uh, sorry higher. And Sukkot used to purify the temple from from um, for, uh, of the of the temple.
um, to purify the dead people or the people who have been in the cemetery. It used to be with a red cow, if you remember it, and they uh, used the water of the, uh, the, um, of here as well, of the Silum Pole. Uh, purification. And let me remind you, Jesus was here, not for Easter, for Passover. As I believe he purified his body too, but he saw here a blind man. And he cured him. He just spit and touched the mud with it and put it in his eyes. And before that, they asked Jesus, who, blame, who is the blame? The, the, his parents or that guy? And he say no one is blamed, but you have to study from it because now you can see, but still you're blind. And in a way, I'm the light of the world. And the result is a person that actually been uh, cured by him. Look at Peter it is. then purification is the most important thing. Curing people is very important. And the mikveh, Jewish shuttle bath. <coughs> this is one of the four mikvehs that you can actually find it from all over, with stairs all over. Usually it's like entering and going out. There's one at next to the entrance of the temple, the offel. It's <laughs> And it looks the same, but totally smaller. That can be used by hundreds of people. We do have a problem, because you have to go in naked. Women, men, I don't know how they deal with it. And one of, um, one of the square mikvates at uh, the um, Western Wall Tunnels, at the uh, Hulva Synagogue in the Jewish Quarter, there's another option of the square mix. Unbelievable. I don't know, I can try now. It's, it's, I'm, look at me, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that we did it. Thank you for being with me. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. There's another mikveh. It's a Hashmonite um, palace, palaces. The idea is that everyone can be, um, can use it around it. You can see here part of the northern wall. This is the um, southern wall. Western wall or western part of the Amikveh. We men and men, yeah, naked. In the Talmud, they say it. if you are entering with a kind of a very um, white uh, uh, clothes, you know, that he looks like a robe, then he can do that. And that's. But there's another option that say that, that maybe there was kind of a barrier that man can enter to the man department and. Um, and a women department. The pool is not only from the time of, of uh, King Herod, the Hashmonite, second century BC, actually did it. And, and Hezekiah used it as a dam and didn't, we don't know about the pool, but he kept the water here against his enemy, eighth century BC, eighth century BC. Unbelievable.
that part was belonged to the Greek Orthodox Church. If you remember, it was a, a garden, Fruit Street, but he's, one of the patriarchs sold it to us, to the, to the Israel, and this is the result of it. Now we can actually uh, build the, 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 every inch of it, every inch of it. I wonder if you're going to find more of the stairs. Nashon is the one who is now activating it. Unbelievable. All right. Small holes, as you see here, it's for maybe hats or something like that. Or to kind of a barrier. Ten. What's about? I kept it. I didn't touch it. I didn't touch it, and that's evil. No stairs. Why the stairs like that? Maybe they they actually robbed it. We didn't find it. Oh, what is disappointing. We didn't find the stairs, the same stairs of it that we were supposed to find it there. We didn't find it. Here, I. In those two places, they uh, find something um, from the ancient time. Then here they will excavate it slowly, slowly. But uh, the rest was a pool. Then the tractor actually did it without any fear of destroying archaeological finds. Here we are climbing out through the sewage canal and plain canal, but I'm climbing up for you to show you the um, let me, let me, just a moment. Let me show you the Eodokia pool. Just to be much bigger than what you're gonna see, but when they excavated here, um, at the 19th century, the Muslims decided to stop them from doing it. Then they built a mosque there. Today, it's the exit of the exit of the ceiling pool. If you are walking through the Hazaka Tunnel, you will reach that pool, and the mosque is there. Here it is. Yeah, you saw it. What is this one? Yes, I'm glad. And you saw the two ceiling pools. The one that we actually visited wasn't the real thing. I mean, from 5th century, it was the real thing. And. That's the dam to stop the water from continuing. We found that part and they excavate that part, which yet we didn't find anything from his time, Jesus time, King Herod time.
huh, if you liked it, then subscribe my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Be part of. There are many people that actually visiting it. And you can still see the stairs to the upper part, uh, to the uh, yeah part of the uh, stretch of the pilgrims. Here you can see how we, how I wish to find the Ceylon pool. <laughs> and he's pointing to there. You can take a taxi for seven seconds now, or you can actually climb all the way up. Thank you for being with me. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.